Attention duped masses! You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. And yes, now it is official. Everybody's got a price. And apparently the price was $66 billion. German drugs and crop chemicals company Bayer has won over U.S. seeds firm Monsanto with an improved takeover offer of $66 billion, including debt, ending months of wrangling after increasing its bid for a third time. Third time's the charm. The $128 a share deal announced today, Wednesday, September 14th, 2016, up from Bayer's previous offer of $127.50 a share is the biggest of the year so far and the largest cash bid on record, the biggest merger of 2016 by far. The transaction will create a company commanding more than a quarter of the combined world market for seeds and pesticides in a fast consolidating farm supplies industry. However, Competition authorities are likely to scrutinize the tie-up closely, and some of Bayer's own shareholders have been critical of a takeover plan, which they say is too expensive and risks neglecting the company's pharmaceutical businesses. Bayer's competitors are merging, so not doing this deal would mean having a competitive disadvantage, says Marcus Manns, fund manager at Union Investment, one of Bayer's top 12 investors. He said people had expected a deal to be agreed at less than $130 a share, but that there were regulatory risks and the acquisition would also leave Bayer with less scope to invest in healthcare, where rivals are consolidating too. The transaction includes a break free of $2 billion that Bayer will pay Monsanto should it fail to get regulatory clearance. Bayer expects the deal to close by the end of 2017. The detail confirms what a source close to the matter told Rothschild's Reuters earlier. At 14.30 GMT this morning, Bayer shares were up 2.4% at 95.52 euros. Monsanto's were up 0.7% at $106.80 a share. And as we have noted, now the most tainted, hated name of the last decade, much like the previous most hated and tainted name of the Audis, Blackwater, they just disappear. That in a second. Let me move on to Bayer, the German company. They want to buy Monsanto. They're prepared to pay $128 per share. It's an all-cash deal. Monsanto shares, however, are still around 106. I think that's where they are as of now. They certainly were before the market opened. Where are they now? All right, we're at 106. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, Bayer is offering 128, and Monsanto is at 106. Still it down a fifth from the deal yes. price. I, I th- I've got an answer for this. Shah, you going to listen to me? <laughs> uh, Monsanto is the GMO company wildly unpopular for its genetically modified organisms and the Germans want to buy it GMO is wildly unpopular it's banned in Europe I don't think the deal goes through. I think that makes sense, but I don't know that the market's looking at that. I think the market is probably looking at it in terms of the debt load that, uh, that would have to be in- encountered. Because uh, <laughs> Monsanto, uh, excuse me, Bear's debt was, uh, I think, $7.8 billion in 2011. It would jump to $17.9 billion last year. This is a $66 billion all cash year. Where are they going to get that money? What is it going to do to the combined well, entity? It's, it's, it's hardly, that's yeah. why it's 20% below. It's, it's unlikely to get there because the deal probably won't happen. All right, Liz. It, it, Charlie oh, Gasparino broke this story last night. He said it was coming. It's because, listen, the, the, watch this. They're going to basically dominate 30% of the market. Um, and they'll be the world's biggest supplier of seeds and pesticides. So that's okay. a big deal. All right. Th- they hate GMO in Europe. You do business in Europe. They hate it. <laughs> they, they really do. But this they is what happens everything. when you have so much regulation. You get more and more big companies and fewer and fewer uh, competitors. And you have more of a monopoly in business because it's too expensive for little guys to compete when it's so hard to pay taxes and hard to get along with the regulation. That's true. Look at Market manipulation? No way. Think about it from an economic standpoint. Starbucks are everywhere. They have a lot of what they are called loss leaders. So that's an economic term, meaning we realize that some of our some of our stores might actually lose money. However, it helps your overall bottom line. Loss leaders are also products referred to in stores where the company might take a loss on that individual product, but getting the masses of asses in the store for that little trinket is far worth it because it will help your overall business. Starbucks 
They've got stores all around that maybe don't really do that well. But their job is to destroy other businesses around. That's why they keep those places that maybe don't quite break even. That's why they keep them in business. Layer that over this situation. Oh, Europe hates GMOs. This is never going to work. Oh, the deal will never fly. They realize they might take some hits here and there. And they realize, oh, well, I'm looking at the manipulated market numbers this morning after only four hours of this deal being announced. It doesn't look like a great idea. So this is quite likely very bad news. As again, as was noted on Fox Business, one of the most hated corporations in the world is now going to be subsumed into a different hated corporation. But they're going to be able to hide. They'll be able to remove the name. So when Blackwater became Z, anybody talk about that? No. So they stopped paying attention. Much less when it turned into Academy. This is going to help further trick clueless people still in grocery stores and spraying poisons on their lawn. Let's also be clear about two other things here. We all know the dirty deeds about Monsanto because we've discussed it for the last eight years here on Media Monarchy. Something we've also discussed that should be remembered here. And these are two things that you should always have on the tip of your fingers ready to roll off in conversation. We talk about that oftentimes. You should always have indisputable facts in your pocket ready for debates. It doesn't have to be angry, but you should just know some great points to make that when that person Googles it later or right there on the spot, they have nothing they can say. Bayer made Zyklon B for the gas chambers in Nazi Germany. Fact. Bayer knowingly shipped AIDS tainted drugs to the third world. They had a drug called Factor 8. If you want to search it up, the way to do it is to use the Roman numerals. Factor V-I-I-I. -I -I. They had a ton of tainted drugs that they knew were infected with HIV. And rather put them in the Western world where they knew they were busted, they just sent them out over to the third world, knowingly. You can find Mike Papantonio talking about that. These are the corporations we're dealing with. Zyklon B, Agent Orange, now together at last. So again, losing a little bit of phony currency in the short term means nothing to corporations whose generational long battle you can see ties to the eugenics-obsessed so-called elites. Nazis, Holocaust, Agent Orange, Zyklon B, GMOs, they are all intricately connected. This is why the merger has happened. You better be damn sure what's in your fridge and in your medicine cabinet. That's all I can say. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com giving you your morning monarchy for Wednesday, September 14th, 2016. Some of those days you wake up and look at the news and go, oh man. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.